An elevator pitch is really just a 30 second or less speech that conveys who you are, what you do, and the value you add to others. And so the challenge is crafting the right elevator pitch, how you communicate and resonate with the audience. Why are you in business? It's not a judgment question because whatever your reasons are, as long as it's important to you. And so when we think about some of the reasons why people are in business, for some people it's money. And that's great if that is your goal. You can't accomplish any lofty goals unless you fund the mission, right? F-U-N-D, fund. You have to have capital. You have to have money to fund the mission. Some people are in it for the fame. They want to be famous. They want to be known. And being known, a lot of people can leverage their notoriety with their impact on others. And that's great, too. Next, mission. A lot of people, especially coming with this generation, are mission-oriented in terms of their goal. Is your business tied to a specific mission that is important to you? Or is it other? And so wherever you are, it's important for you to understand why you're in business. And that will be a driving force as you develop your business because you have to be, you have to have that dialed in for yourself, the why. It all boils down to the same thing. What you're communicating, the solution you're providing, and that it's resonating with the audience that you're trying to connect with. And so ask yourself a, a couple of questions. How do I communicate my value? And so speak to the value that you're adding to others because that's what they're concerned about. How are you serving others? That part you'll probably have locked in because inherently you know what service or product you're providing. And what do they receive? Are they receiving a product? Are they receiving service? And to bring this all together, how are they going to feel as a result of using your product or service? And so after someone engages with your product or service, how do you want them to feel? And so there's a simple way to look at that. And that way is knowing your client. And so in knowing your client, really speaking to them about the benefit of using your product or service. And so a benefit is anything that satisfies a need, emotion, or desire. And so there's a saying, benefits sell, features tell. People buy because of the benefits, not the features. Right? People buy because how, after using your product or service, how are they going to feel on the other side of it? When companies understand their product and service, what they're communicating, the solution they're providing, and they're resonating with their clients or customers, that's when sales start to happen. And so it doesn't matter where you start with, as long as you have that dialed in, it makes all the difference in the world. And the elevator pitch formula that I'm using is I, the verb I help or, or I transform or I serve, whatever it is that you do, the description of your ideal customer, your customer's challenge, right? Whether it's a, it's a pleasure or pain and what your customer's successful outcome. And so when you get to the end of your elevator pitch, the customer's successful outcome is really speaking to what? The benefit, which is speaking to what? How they wanna feel on the other side after you're using your product or service. So a company, makeup line, women of all ages, what's the benefit? Well, look and feel beautiful. Very straightforward. And so what's an idea of the elevator pitch? And there's different ways to craft it, but this way I crafted it. I help women bring out their natural beauty with all organic makeup so they can look and feel beautiful every day. Knowing your business, what business that you're in. And so knowing your business is great, but you know what's better? 
knowing your niche, what you help your client or customer with, that's your niche. And then you're crafting that in your pitch, which comes to knowing how to communicate. But remember, the goal is to be clear, not clever. You're trying to speak in a way that resonates with people and they get immediately what you're saying. Being consistent is key. That's going to be the framework that you use to communicate with people in media, in print. And people have to understand what you're saying crisp and concisely, very quickly. And so I would argue that once you dial in your elevator pitch and continue to practice, you should be able to turn to your left or right, maybe to a child, maybe 13 years old, and tell them your elevator pitch. And they should be able to understand what it, what it is that you do. Maybe not fully everything, but they should be underst- they should understand the gist of what you are saying.